Yeah, today we're going to shoot with the uh, Instax Wide 300. So I'm going to shoot a picture of a bridge. But as you notice, I'm about to turn this on. Let me turn this on. Just flick the, the power switch. And as you can see, it has the zero on it on the back. So that means there's no film. There's, there's film, but it's empty. So I'm going to show you how you reload it. So what you do is you open the back with this. And there's the film cartridge. And as you notice, there's a yellow tab. It has to meet the other yellow tab. They just have to match. So this just comes straight out like this. And here's the new pack. I'll open that. Okay, so as you can see, this is the new pack and it has a protective front. So don't push on a lot of these, not a good idea, or push on here. This will protect it from the light on this side. So you just match the yellow tab to the yellow spot. You just put it in like this. And then these push the, these actually push down. They're meant to push the photo to keep them forward. And then you just close it. And you have to get rid of that front part. So you just snap any picture and the front part will come out. That is a plastic front. So now you're ready to shoot some pictures. So I'm going to uh, shoot a picture of a bridge. As you can see, there's a number 10 on there. So you've got 10 shots on here. Okay, so I'm going to shoot a picture of a bridge and let's check that out. Okay, so we have a picture of a bridge. This is a good contrast. The, this is color film I'm using uh, on this. So let's see the, you're going to see some brown and everything on the bridge. So let's shoot a picture of it and see how it comes out. And the frame seems to cover the whole thing. And there we go. And the flash did not go off. And as you can see, the picture comes out here. And this one works pretty well, not too sensitive to light. So it will develop in about, they say about 90 seconds. I usually give it about two minutes and the pictures come out really, really well. So we'll check that out in a little bit. there's a bridge there let's see what the color looks like with the uh, that's sort of a rust color it's a it's a steel bridge so it's rust so if we look out at the bridge we can look at see how all the the color looks on that bridge so I'm gonna shoot a picture of that we'll take a look at it okay when you first turn on the camera you flick the switch but make sure it has the right distance setting this is kind of not a camera of a a typical point and shoot when you first turn it on it's always going to say 0 0.9 to 0 0.3 or 0.9 to 3 meters you have to turn this to go 3 meters and beyond so make sure you always adjust this when you turn the camera on this will do selfies i've tried it there's also a little selfie attachment you can put on the lens so push this and do 3 meters to beyond that's usually the best thing to do Okay, so I have the setting to three meters and beyond and let's take a look at this. wish I could zoom in. It's a nice picture. So this is going to have a little bit of the green of the tree. Let's see what's in focus on this picture when I put it on the video. We'll take a look. And there we go. The good news, the flash did not go off and we'll take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Get a slight uh, as it develops. Now one thing I want to mention, as you notice, the pictures when they come out, come out upside down. Now the interesting part about this camera is you notice it has the lens, and then it goes from the lens to the picture. And you're wondering, why is it shooting this way? Well, on Polaroid, this side is the side that gets exposed. On this film, which is the Instax film, the back is the exposed part, which is kind of interesting. So it will expose on the back and print on this side. It's very interesting. So the film actually, it, it actually sits like this. It gets exposed to the lens. So this is a different design from Polaroid. And as you can tell, the image looks really, really vibrant. It looks really, really nice. 
So I'll post this in the video. I'll post a close up and you can take a look at it. Here's uh, another picture. I'm gonna. This has a a green color to it. So I'm gonna. Well, it's a lime. The lime scooters. I'm gonna take a picture of the scooters, and the sun is hidden behind some trees. So let's see how this does in the shade. Okay, there's a mirror there that's kind of it's kind of bent. It's kind of hard to get all that in one frame, but I'm gonna fit it in the frame shooting it sideways, but the way I'm looking at it right now, there was no glare at all on that on that mural. So this works out great. And you can see the vibrancy of colors. They're really, really good colors uh, on there. So let's shoot the picture of the mural. And there are no bikes coming because we are on a bike trail in Los Angeles. So I'm gonna shoot a uh, uh, picture of that and it looks like I can fit all of it in really nice look at the colors on it it looks great so I'm gonna shoot a picture of this one oh go ahead go ahead that's okay so I'm gonna shoot a picture of this one and what I really enjoy about these murals are the colors they're really really nice and the film really picks it up okay so I'm gonna start that and there we go If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, feel free to leave comments if you have the camera or any tips or tricks you have with it. And subscribe to the page and you can check us out on Instagram. Photography is very fun. And remember, keep on clicking.